Okay, you ready? Okay. Hello, and welcome to the HTML5 lecture series at SNHU. I'm Tom Adamson, visiting professor, and this is lecture 21 on jQuery UI. Now you might say, wait a minute, what's jQuery UI? Let's go to the screen here for a second. <clears throat> Remember in the last lecture that we had, we talked about jQuery, okay? And this should look familiar to you from the last lecture. Let's just stay on, stay on the screen for a while. I'm gonna come over here and make a change. What I'm gonna look at now is I'm gonna look at jQuery UI. And now uh, jQuery UI it has a different kind of interface, but it still depends upon jQuery. I'm gonna read what it says here. jQuery UI is a uh, set of user interface interactions, effects, widgets, and themes built on top of the jQuery JavaScript library. In other words, you need the jQuery library in order to use jQuery UI. Whether you're building highly interactive web applications or you just need to add a date picker to a form control, jQuery UI is the perfect choice. Now, let's come back to the board here, please. And let's look at jQuery UI.com. That's the website. That's the website that I just showed you. Now, what does jQuery UI mean? UI means user interface. UI right here. And then the, the user interface, jQuery UI, is really concerned with widgets. And now what is a widget? A widget is a small program that can be used as a feature in a larger program. So a widget is a small program that can be used as a feature in a larger program. So what I'd like to do now is come over here to the screen, and I'd like to point out some of the things that we see here. We see that we can download jQuery, and the latest version, the version we have now, at the time of this lecture, is 1.10.3. I can do a custom download, I can do a stable download, a legacy download. Stable download is the latest version, and it says it requires J, uh, jQuery 1.6 plus, or uh, the legacy is a version that's just a, one step older than the stable version, and it tells you what, what uh, version of jQuery is needed to run jQuery UI. The other thing I see that I have here, I have three major areas. There's actually a fourth one down here uh, that, that's not that important. I have interactions, I have widgets, and I have effects. The widgets are what's important here. Once I create my widgets, I can now do interactions with them. I can make them draggable, droppable, I can resize them, I can make them selectable, I can make them sortable. Again, once I have my widgets, I can put effects on them. I can add a class, I can do color animation, different kinds of effects, and so on. And that's the thing we're, that we're gonna go into. So we're gonna stay on the screen for right now. And staying on the screen, I'm gonna to come to the accordion widget. And when I click on the accordion widget, I see what the accordion widget is. I'm gonna try and zoom in here a little bit so you can see it better. Uh, basically what it does, it allows me to, uh, to, to have different selections. Okay, and I can do this with them, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna scroll down here just a little bit. And, okay, I'm gonna stay on the screen please. So I see that when I come to a widget, I can see what the widget does. I can come over here on the right and give examples. 
This is default functionality. These are additions that I can make to the widget, and I'll show you how these additions work. The other thing that I can do is that I can see the source. I just click on this and I can copy paste the course and the source and bang, I've got the widget. Uh, and the other thing I can do is I can have the API documentation, stands for application programming interface. Okay, we're going to stay on the screen. And let me give you an example. Um, I'm going to make them so that they have custom icons in them. And when I click on that, you can see the icons have changed here. And I can make any kind of icon that I wish from my icon sheet. I can make it so that they're sortable, for example. Like if I want to take this widget here, this section here, I can move it up here and now make it the top section. Or I can make this section right here, bring it down here, and now it's the bottom section. So depending on what, what enhancements I want on this, that's what I use the examples for. So let's go back to the default functionality, and now let's go on the view source. Let's view the source code. Now you might say, wow, man, look at that. All right, just a minute, it's not as bad as you think. This part right here, that's the actual uh, jQuery UI script right there. It's function, and look, look what it has. It has an ID uh, selector, accordion, and that's what it does. That's its function, is accordion. That's it, that's all you need. If you come down here, here's the ID selector called accordion in the division element, a div element. And if you notice, there is H3, which is section one, and there's another div element, and P, and closing the paragraph element, closing that division element, there's another section. That's all you need. Uh, and then you got the accordion thing. All this stuff up here is boilerplate stuff. This simply is connecting to cascading style sheets, uh, and also to the uh, to jQuery and then jQuery UI that uh, and then uh, that's basically it you've got the title element here you've got a meta element which says the character set we haven't talked about that yet uh, you have the HTML and it's just saying that the language is English and then here's your doc type uh, HTML which means that it's using uh, HTML5 so let me close the source now if you really want to learn more about these, this particular widget, the accordion widget, what you can do is that you can come to the API documentation, API, Application Programming Interface. I'm gonna click on that. And what you see now is all kinds of information uh, uh, on the methods and events and the options and how it's laid out, how the accordion widget is laid out, what you can do with keyboard interaction, uh, what uh, dependency they have, additional notes, how you can modify it, uh, how you can e extend it, uh, how you can change things in it. This goes on and on and on just for one widget. Every widget in, in, um, in uh, jQuery UI has this detailed API explanation of what you can do with it. I mean, I'll tell you, it's, it's amazing uh, the kind of stuff that, that they have here. Okay, so I'm gonna scroll back up where am I here? And I'm going to go uh, back here to um, to here. Let's see. Let me go back this way. Okay. So I viewed the source, what have you. There's another one too. Uh, that's a um, uh, let's see. Here's a button right here. I can have a button. I can have check boxes. I can have a toolbar. There's a really nice toolbar on that. Um, I can have uh, dialogues, a progress bar, a slider. Here's a slider right here. I can have um, a uh, color picker slider if I want. That's built in. And the code, the code for this is very simple, easy to copy and paste, easy to include in my application, um, and so on. So um, what I've got now, let me get back to jQuery here. What I want to do now, staying on the screen, I want to show a roadmap that jQuery has. I'm on the main uh, home page. I'm coming down here to roadmap, and I'm going to open it. And it may be hard for you to see the roadmap. But fundamentally, what the roadmap is,
the roadmap tells me what is under development, what kinds of things that the developers of, of jQuery UI are working on. So the whole point of this is, and I need to come back to the board here, please. jQuery UI, this is always under development and improving and extending applications. In other words, the widgets, what the widgets can do. What's important here is that jQuery, this right here, is not static. What that means, generally when you, you download a program or you use a program, that's the way it is. And then two years later, maybe they come out with another version. And then that's the way it is. And then maybe three years later, they come out with another version. That's not true of jQuery UI. jQuery UI is changing on a daily basis. And you can look down through the roadmap and see the new features that they're going to be including inside uh, jQuery UI. So the other thing that you can do is that with this, Let's say there's a feature that you want in jQuery UI and it doesn't have it. You can join the discussion area and ask for a special feature. Now, you might say, oh, nobody's going to make a special feature for me. Oh, really? Let's go back to the, to the screen there, please. We'll go back to the screen. And what I want to do now is go back up here to jQuery. And what we're going to look at now is, um, oh, I, I was on jQuery. I didn't mean to be on jQuery. I want to be here. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come here to the um, discussion forum on the right, right here, the discussion forum. I'm going to open it up. And in the discussion forum, I'm going to come back to the screen now, over here. In the discussion forum, I can, I can sign up for the discussion forum so I can be part of the discussion forum. Then I have a username and I have a password. Now, you might say, what's the big deal about that? Well. <coughs> There's 12 different forms, getting started, using jQuery, using jQuery plugins, uh, using jQuery UI, developing jQuery core, and so on. There's been, to this date, about 100 and si over 116,000 posts on the forums. There's been close to a quarter of a million replies. Many of these replies are from jQuery uh, UI programmers who will give you the code for what you, uh, the kind of widget that you wanted. Whether or not they include it in their standard library is really up to the group that, that, that sponsors jQuery. So we're going to stay on the board here. So uh, it's, it's a strong suggestion that you, that you join the, uh, the forum and, and get involved. OK. Now, I need to get back on the board. And I see what I have. I have my interactions.
Then I have my widgets. Then I have my effects. Then I have my utilities. As we know, we've already defined what widgets are. They're a small piece of code that's used to add some kind of special feature to a larger program. The interactions that we have here are really interactions that are applied to these widgets. The effects that I have here are really effects that are applied to these widgets. The two utility programs that I have here, uh, those I don't do much with unless I'm a hardcore developer. So what I want to do next, we're going to go back to the screen, <coughs> please, and take my notes with me and put this guy here so I don't forget where he is. Let's say I go to my interactions up here. I can make any one of these draggable, droppable, resizable, selectable, sortable. I can come down here for the effects, and what I can do is that I can add a class. I can do a color animation, for example. If I want to see that, I'm going to toggle the effect, and bang, there's the color animation. And the code is, is uh, uh, very simple to do. Here's a progress bar. Uh, I can use a custom label on the progress bar. I can use an indeterminate value. I can put a random color on it. I can make uh, an indeterminate like this. I can make it that it has a determined value. So this is what I can do with the widgets uh, that I have. And I have different effects here. I have a, a show effect here. And what, what I can do here is here I have blind. Uh, let me run the effect. There it is, it just blinds down. I can make it faster or slower. And these are all the different effects that I have. Much the same as you would see on, on a PowerPoint presentation. Here, run this effect, only it doesn't need a plugin. And it just uses very simple script. Okay, so I can look at the different effects that are here. Here's, here's one where I can explode it. Explode is sort of cool, bang. Okay, and, and I can view the source again, and again I can I can uh, look at the API documentation. Okay. Okay, I got that. I'm just going through my notes here. Now, let's go into customizing uh, a theme. I'm going to go up here on the web page where it says themes, and I'm going to click on themes. And when I do that, I see I get this screen here, and we're going to, we're going to stay, on, stay on the screen. Let's say what the themes are for, let's say that I want to use some of these widgets on my website, and my website happens to have particular colors and particular fonts and particular styles and I want the widgets to be in sync with those styles and what have you. Well, what I use is I use a theme roller. I can roll my own, make my own themes, or I can go into a gallery and select a pre-made theme, or I can get help on how I make these themes. If I go into the gallery and make a, a pre-select one, I can then go back to roll my own and then modify that particular one. And I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna stay on the, on the screen here for now. So I'm going to try and enlarge this. Well, if I do it too much. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the gallery. And when I come to the gallery, uh, is it possible to zoom in on that? Uh, can, can you? Uh, OK. And I'm, I'm going to look at this one here. And I'm just going to scroll down um, and look at all the different themes that I, could, that I could select. I can edit and what have you. And what you see here, can you see the tooltip? So when I go over this, it says St. Saint, Saint Stephen's Cathedral. And then you, can you see the Tower Bridge tooltip? You see that? See it coming up? OK. What you see here is all the other uh, widgets that, that uh, uh, jQuery UI offers me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a theme called UI darkness, and I click on that,
And when I do, I see the effect that it has on all the widgets in uh, uh, jQuery UI. Uh, so let's say that I, oh, okay, let's say I, I sort of like that. So what I'm going to do now, I don't like the white background. I'm going to come down here and reverse the page background color. And when I do that, I say, oh, that's more in my liking. This is more of what I like. However, let's say I don't like the fact that the sections uh, are that color uh, once they're selected. I'd like for them to be a blue color. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here to roll your own. And I click on roll your own. And I see this is the color. And I don't want that color. You see where it says clickable active state? I'm going to open that. And I'm going to change the color. I click on that. And let's say I want the color to be a blue, a dark blue, OK? So when I do that, you see how all the sections change to a dark blue? And let's say, for example, OK, that looks good. But I don't want it to be that. I want it to be a, um, uh, let's say I want to have white lines on it. And if I do that, there's white lines uh, right here. I, I don't know if you can see the lines from the camera, OK? So I, I can customize those. And let's say I come down here and I look, oh, here's an alert box. Let's say I don't want my alert box to be yellow. I want the alert box to be red. So I come here. I'm going to close this. And here's the uh, era, right, for the alert box. And I want the background to be red. So I come here for the background. And I'll pick a, a red. And I want it to be a real red, OK? And I come down here now and look at the alert box. And there it is. It's a real red. The problem now that I have is I can't see the widget. So let's say I want the icon, the little icon there, I want that icon to be yellow. And uh, so it stands out and sort of a bright yellow. Now I come down here, and now you can see the little icon there. So the point is, is that I can now customize all the widgets. And, and when I finish, when I finish uh, customizing uh, all the widgets, then what I can do is I can download the theme. You see over here on the left where my, where my mouse is going over, where I download this theme? So if I click on this, here's what I get. All right, and I'll show you. Uh, let me just do this, and I'll come over to the screen. Up here at the top, I can just download the stable version or the legacy version. That's it. It doesn't take my theme or anything. I just download it, and I got it, and I'm out of here. Uh, so if I'm going to download the stable one, uh, I need to have jQuery uh, uh, 1.6 or above in order for this version, which is 1.10.3, to work. Now, I can select what components I want. Remember we talked about the UI core? Well, we want to leave those there. Uh, interactions, if I'm not using draggable, I don't need to download it. I can just uncheck it. If I'm not going to be using resizable, the same thing. So I'm going to stay on the screen here and scroll down and see all the different uh, widgets and all the different interactions uh, that I'm not using. Uh, I don't have to trouble myself with downloading them. Uh, if, I, if I want to download them because I'm not sure whether I'm not going to use it, I can do that as well. And the thing is, now I have a new color and I'll, a custom theme, and I'm going to call it uh, my uh, my site, OK? And then I just come here and I download it. Uh, so once I download it, what I get is I get uh, a, uh, a bundle that's been all zipped and everything. And if I want to look at, uh, the, uh, now if I've already downloaded this because it takes a while to download it. If I go in my index here, uh, this is just unzipping it so I, I can see it. Uh, it. With the exception of my background co color, I get the choices that I wanted. And there it is. So uh, my jQuery example here. So what I can do, let me close that off here and then uh, and what have you. So I'm going to go back here to the jQuery. Uh, that's jQuery. And what I want to do here is I want uh, yeah, jQuery UI. There I am. So let's look one more here. I download jQuery UI 1.10.3. If I click now on custom download, if I click on this, 
I'll get in essence the same interface that I got before. This is if I want to make some changes on it, as you've seen me do. Uh, it's, if I want just the stable with no customization, that's fine, I can do that. All of the examples that you see here will be in the download file. Okay, let's go back to the, to the board now, please. Okay, so what we talked about was jQuery UI for, for the, uh, user interface and the website that we went to was jQuery.com. The nice thing about jQuery is that it's free and that the only thing I need to, to use it is a simple text editor. The other nice thing about it is that it's being constantly updated. And if you haven't heard about jQuery UI, the reason why you haven't heard about it is because they don't have an advertising budget. Anyway, that's it uh, for this lecture. Thank you for attending.